Mutiny on flight FR8347 Ryanair passengers call the police as they demand food water and the right to leave the plane during 11-hour delay at Stan Suite. Passengers called police after being sat on the plane for three hours. Ryanair said they couldn't let them into the terminal because it was locked. The airline said the captain also called police for assistance getting the passengers back into the building. They were finally allowed off at 3.40 a.m. but had to board the flight again two hours later when they faced another two-hour delay. Ryanair flight from Stansuit to Porto was supposed to take off at 8.30 p.m. However, it eventually took off at around 8 a.m. the following morning. Incident happened after loudmouth businessman Michael O'Leary pledged to clean up the Airlines Act and stop people off unnecessarily. Furious passengers stranded on a Ryanair flight called police from the tarmac after being left for hours without food or drink. More than 100 travelers, including children, had already faced a long wait to board the delayed flight from Stansuit to Porto in Portugal. Three hours later, the plane was still on the ground. Tired and hungry, they asked flight attendants for food and water but were refused. Frustration soon turned to anger, with mutinous passengers confronting cabin crew and many phoning police. One passenger claimed up to 50 calls were made. Officers finally boarded the plane and passengers were allowed to get off and wait in the airport terminal. By this time, they had spent more than three hours on the jet without refreshments. The plane finally took off after a mammoth 11-hour delay. The drama comes weeks after Ryanair boss Michael O'Leary pledged to treat passengers better and stop people off unnecessarily. Flight FR8347 had been due to take off at 8.25 p.m. last Friday but when the passengers checked in for the 2-hour 20-minute flight, they were told there were delays because of adverse weather. They waited nearly 4 hours before they boarded the plane just after midnight. That was when their real ordeal began. Passenger Joe Pinheiro posted a video diary of the scenes on YouTube, which has since received nearly 500,000 views. In the video, passengers can be seen begging the cabin crew for assistance. There is nothing to eat or drink, one man shouts to a male steward. You are ignoring your passengers who are asking for help. Aren't you flight attendants? Is everybody crazy? A woman passenger says, you won't let us eat or drink even if we pay. We can't leave the aircraft either. Another pleads, there is a baby on board. The video claims the passengers asked for food, water and for the air conditioning to be turned on at 1 a.m., but that this was refused. A police car with flashing lights can be seen outside the aircraft before an officer boards and tells passengers they will be allowed to leave the plane. After the video emerged, Ryanair issued an apology but claimed that passengers had been given water on the plane and said the captain had also called the police for assistance. Last night a Ryanair spokesman said strong winds forced more than 20 airlines to divert into Stansuit from from Heathrow and Gatwick on February 14. Disrupting handling and fueling operations at the airport. After approximately two hours waiting for fuelers, the captain requested the handling company Swissport to allow the passengers into the terminal which was locked, the spokesman said. The captain switched on the aircraft's air conditioning while waiting for Swissport staff to arrive and the cabin crew provided water to passengers. When Swissport failed to arrive the captain requested the police to let the passengers into the locked terminal. The spokesman said passengers were then given refreshment vouchers. Last night a spokesman for Swissport said, Swissport staff were under extreme pressure dealing with an unprecedented level of flights and whilst we accept we should have unloaded the passengers sooner we simply had no one available to unload when contacted by the captain. Swiss port regret any delay to passengers and to Ryanair. Delays, diversions and a passenger hauled off by police because she had the wrong type of hand luggage, how Ryanair have wound up their flyers. 
Loudmouth Ryanair businessman Michael O'Leary promised to stop unnecessarily passengers off after profits slumped last year. His budget airline are famed for charging low fares but bringing in extra revenue by hitting flyers with extortionate charges to put a bag in the hold. Other passengers have been hit with sky-high charges at the airport for failing to print off their boarding passes at home. In one incident, Spanish police hauled a woman off a plane in Valencia, Spain, before it took off because she had the wrong type of hand luggage. Spanish newspapers said she was judged to have broken the airline's rule of boarding with only a small package because she was carrying a scroll, which would not fit in her case, and a book. Footage of the incident in 2012 shows the Spanish woman begging to be let on board as other passengers shout shameful, shameful. Last month, furious French Ryanair passengers launched a revolt and stole from the drink trolley after being faced with 24-hour delay following an emergency landing. Their plane to Paris took off from Rabat, in Morocco, before being forced to land in Madrid because of a medical emergency. It was too late for the flight to land in Paris because of night restrictions by the time it took off again so the plane stopped in Nantes instead. Passengers were put on a bus to their destination the next day. In May last year, a Ryanair flight was diverted 200 miles to another airport away from its Greek holiday island destination because the pilot said it was too dark to land. The flight from London Stansuite to Kfalonia landed at Thessaloniki Airport on the Greece mainland instead as a result of the problems. Eventually it flew on to its destination after a two-hour delay.